This is a terribly bloody, abusive, horrendous board. I think it's just absolutely uh, inexcusable, uh, you know, what they will do to these animals. Connect, connected to illegal gambling and drugs. Alright Connor, it's nice meeting you today. Um, I'm just curious, what are the conditions of dog fighting? Usually dogs are kept in very poor living conditions. They are kept in small cages, usually with other animals, and they are treated very poorly, beaten almost every single day. What would be the best way to describe the conditions? Um, I would describe them usually as torture and slavery. I think. Okay. Hi Matt, nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you. Um, we are going to ask you some questions about dog fighting and the business aspects of it. Could you elaborate on how profitable dog fighting actually is? In a single day of dog fighting, up to $500,000 can change hands. Uh, what is the usual crowd size to bring up that kind of profit? Crowd sizes vary from fight to fight, but it could be very large or very small, depending. Okay. Hi Natalie, nice meeting with you today. Hi, nice meeting with you too. So we are going to interview you about dog fighting, which I'm sure you know a lot about. Yes, I do. You actually go to dog fights on most weekends, is that correct? Yeah, I do it quite often. Why do you bet on dog fighting? I bet because it's an easy profit. How much do you usually make after one dog fight? Around $2,000. Hi Vince, nice meeting with you again. So, we're going to ask you a few questions about how dogs are kenneled and treated before a dog fight. On a daily basis, how much do dog fighting dogs get to eat? Well, that's a good question, Connor. It varies. To be honest, some dogs, they get a lot of food because they're walking up, getting heavy, trying to get stronger. Other dogs, before a fight though, usually get starved. That way, it's not so much a kill, it's more of a need to kill for food. And what happens to uh, the sick dogs that may not get enough food or are injured in a fight? Those dogs are used as prep dogs. They get tossed in pit first, that way a dog can get warmed up and killed at first before actually hitting the main attraction fight. Or gets put down or neglected further. What happens to the elderly dogs? Same thing with them. Most likely they get shot, though. Thank you for your time. Anytime. Who do you blame for all of this? I blame me. Michael Vick was a human highlight reel. With a powerful arm, blazing speed, and an uncanny ability to elude tacklers. He's the only quarterback in NFL history to rush for over 1,000 yards in a season, though he was injured a lot and never lived up to the high expectations in Atlanta. Very few people knew what was happening in his life off the field. When police raided a farm he owned in rural Virginia in 2007, they uncovered an interstate dogfighting operation called Bad News Kennels. They removed 66 dogs and exhumed the bodies of eight more. They also found dogfighting paraphernalia in a pit where fights were held. The dogs that were saved, raised and trained to be vicious fighters, are now being rehabilitated in hopes of being adopted. All at the expense of Vic, who was ordered by a judge to pay nearly a million dollars for the effort. And the operation, Michael, that you pleaded guilty to bankrolling, to being a part of, engaged in Barber's treatment of the animals, beating them, shooting them, electrocuting them, drowning them. Horrific things, Michael. It's wrong, man. I don't know how many times I got to say I got to say it. I mean, it was wrong. I feel, you know, I feel tremendous hurt behind what happened. And you know, I should have took the initiative to stop it all. You know, and I didn't. And I feel so bad about that now. And I and I know, you know, that I I didn't I didn't step up. I wasn't the leader. In any way, for those who may say it showed a lack of moral character because you didn't stop it, you agree or disagree? I agree. 
For six years, Vic ran Bad News Kennels with his childhood friends, breeding, buying, selling, and fighting pit bulls. Was there an adrenaline rush? Was it the sense of competition? What was it that gripped you about what you were engaged in with the dog fighting? Regardless of what it was. Do you know it don't what even it was? matter. Do you know what it was? I know why. You know, I know why. And regardless of what it was that, and why I was driven, you know, by what, you know, what was going on, you know, whether it was because of the competition or, uh, you know, whatever it may, it may have been, it was wrong. Were any of those reasons, though, the competition, the yeah. adrenaline? Yeah. Do you understand why people are outraged? I understand why. And I'm going to say it again. Sick as me to my stomach. And it was, you know, the same feeling I'm feeling right now is what people was feeling. And the feeling you're feeling right now is? Disgust. Pure disgust. When did you arrive at that feeling of disgust, Michael? When did the light go on? When I was in prison. When I was in prison, I was disgusted, you know, because of what I, I let happen to those animals. I could have put a stop to it. I could have walked away from it. But you I could didn't. have set the whole operation down. But you didn't. But and I why didn't. not? What was keeping you going? Not being able to say or tell, you know, certain people around me that, look, we can't do this anymore. I'm concerned about my career. I'm concerned about my family. So for the cynics who will say, you know what, I don't know, Michael Vick might be more concerned about the fact that his career was hurt than dogs were hurt. I, I don't, I mean, football don't even matter. You know, that's a Losing sad Losing a $135 million dollar contract doesn't matter. matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Why I not? deserve to lose that because of what I was doing. You deserve to lose it. Yeah, I deserve to lose it. I deserve to lose the $130 million. Why would a guy who's making $130 million and, you know, on the flip side, you know, killing dogs or doing the wrong things, why would he, you know, do you just...